I never noticed that while playing the game, but every swing of the Matic is precisely one second, as you may have seen from the countdown. But there's plenty of time for improving the home. I think every time we start a stream, we'll dig a little more. But for today, let's go on a little adventure. I thought about which book to read. We have two really big ones. We have Moby Dick and we have the Thus Spake Zarathustra, which, looking online, I learned is a well-known German book, and it was translated into English. It was written by Nietzsche. I've heard the name, but I didn't know what he was famous for. Um, it's a, a book kind of philosophy, uh, his own philosophy, but he wrote it in this way where this character in the book is the one giving the philosophy. That's clever. I like that. So that one's caught my interest and I think I would like to start reading that one to, you know, pass the time. But the book has been reprinted in the game as original, where the author wrote it in four parts. The only part we have currently in our bookshelf is the first part. And we know about the library, but there are perhaps other places that have a few books, so let's go take a look. I'm sure that if we started reading now, it would still take us a while to finish that first volume. But why not? Let's also decorate our home so that way the time we do spend at home will be even more worthwhile. Could you imagine if our shade liked to close the doors behind him? That door didn't take incredibly long to open, but long enough. Here's a question. The door was already closed, and we were the one to open it. it did, did the last person who went through those doors close them as they left? Or did the king perhaps do that? We've been through some of these areas. If we go up to the top, We'll find that place with moss. We may find some moss has started to grow if we were to check that out now, but I don't think any moss would yet be finished. There is one place where we're waiting for moss to grow so that way we can jump off a high, a high ledge and we were told two weeks, which was roughly three days ago. Not all moss takes, you know, two weeks, rather, to grow. I'll come back to this door, but I see something. A piece of flint. This is the bottom of where above us is the doorway to the library. 
the locked doorway to the library. Or it's blocked, not really locked. Ah, a part of my instrument. If I gather all of them, I'll be able to make some music at home. I now have all the parts of my instrument. <laughs> Who talks like that? If only I had them all. Oh, I have them all. So when we get home, we'll go play some music. This looks like the entrance to a dark and lonely place. Just the thing I need. I wonder what it says up there. I started to speak that before the words had even appeared. We're just gonna go from right to left. of the uh, tunnels and such were confusing. Ha. Welcome. <laughs> this place is even more confusing. I should have predicted this outcome. Well, at least he wasn't disappointed for it. some places. That place there with the uh, crumbled archway, um, there's no way in. There's no option to dig or anything there. It's curious because it's the only one. I like this little tiny room. The first time I was playing the game, um, this is where I had reached when my best friend said, I would like to try. So I left the shade here, let her start her game. And when I came back, the shade was just curled up here sleeping. But it's kind of a, a nice little cubby, a closet, 
just a, a neat little dead end. the title for today's stream. It's day six and seven. That's because time has passed quite a lot. That we are now a day ahead than we normally would be had we not been hanging out inside of our home. We've almost reached the point where a little bit more than five hours away from being a whole 24 hours. collection. I will try to break it from the wall. I like how he's kind of given a personality to each of these crystals. The first one he says, oh, this lonely crystal, I will save it from its, you know, weary life. And this one is, hey, you're, you're not in my collection. This one's pretty quick. neat as well that with the color they have their own properties to them the first one it took quite a long time a crystal it was a pain to harvest but it sure looks nice this one goes right up on my wall at home. Are you sure we're gonna put it on the wall? We might put it on the floor or on the bookcase. The possibilities. Each time I've played the game, I've been pretty unique about the decorations in the little home there. There are some parts that I think I have I've settled on as my favorite, um, but pictures on the walls and things like that. I hear the sound of running water. So here's something I didn't know. I had thought that the place we were before, where there was a pit and there was water dripping there in that little pit. Um, I thought there was some way to start that water. Actually, I'm curious, what if we push it the other way? I wonder where the water 
is going. So there's a little crack there, a little bit of water coming out. I had thought that perhaps we had to have done this for that little drop to be coming out at this place. And we've never come here until just now. So that wasn't the case. There are still things I'm learning about this game, even now. just wander off and get lost for a few days. the end of eternity. What could that mean? This seems to be, time seems to be standing still in these halls. Yeah, if you notice, not a second has moved. If you've seen some of my other streams, I've talked about this room before. Um, on the forum for this game, on Steam, it's an interesting topic. There are people who have come into this room wondering how far it actually goes. Some people said they have gone an hour. Some people, they say they've gone four hours. I think one person said they went about 400 hours, you know, to go along with 400 days. That would make sense, right? Some people, they speculated that, oh, I found a book. This book will keep me company at home. Welcome, friend. 
One person speculated that he had walked for about 40 minutes in, but when he turned around to walk away, it only took him about five minutes to leave. And that's just not the case. Uh, the people have disproven it, like the one guy who had walked in for about an hour. He said, no, not at all. It took me an hour to walk back out. This endless corridor apparently remembers how long you've been walking. What's nice going in this direction is we can find items. They seem to just randomly appear at intervals. Aha, seven books at home. Do you belong here, book? I better take you to a safe place. I think our little shade has a bit of magic of his own. When he picks up certain things, they're just magically at home. There are other things in the game. When you pick them up, they're a bit of an obstacle because your shade will say he has no place to keep them. He doesn't know where to put them. That looks a bit like a stairway or a portal going down, doesn't it? sound. I'm going to pick that up on the way back. That's one of the things we had come here looking for. We want to decorate our home. That crystal was one, a couple of books. Maybe we found volume two of the book we're looking for. We found some paper, so we can make a few more paintings. I might be mistaken, but these halls seem to be quite endless. Shade of paper. So, other streams. I've talked about this room before because if you look at my profile, if you go back to day one, I mentioned I've made different profiles to play the game again. And this would be my fifth profile. And there, the Switch only allows you to have six profiles on the console. And they're all used. Many of them I created just for this game. One profile in particular made a character named Ever and set him here, walking. Don't know how I did it. Oh. Apparently, I'm gonna figure it out now while I'm here. I had pressed something. And by pressing it, you know what I think it is? It's the touch screen itself on the switch. By touching the touch screen, the shade was continuously walking to the right. And he stayed in that state. So if I let go of the controllers, he would keep walking. The game, when you turn it off, it continues to do whatever it was you were doing. So if you were walking, perhaps to one of these locations, you turned off the switch and you come back. The shade will keep walking until it reaches that destination. If, like what I did, I just sent the shade walking to the right, and he's not able to reach that destination because the screen keeps scrolling. So, turn off the game, I leave the shade walking, and he'll keep walking for days. So, with this character ever, I set him walking. It's fun to take a stroll in this realm. But I'm afraid that at some point I will have to walk the whole way back. Yeah, that's the clue that as long as you walk this way, it's it's you're going to have to walk the same length back. So having set the shade walking to the right, 
and the character never able to reach that position. My shade has continuously been walking. Um, I set the shade to walk and then I created another profile because I just wanted to reach the ending. And I left the shade there, walking. I completed the ending I was looking for. I come back, reloaded the game, and the shade was still here, walking. We don't know how much time has passed because time in here stops. But at that time, it was at least a month or so. And I do recall at some point loading up the game again just out of curiosity and wondering, you know, it's been a few months now. How far has the shade gone? Is there an end? And there wasn't. I did notice it was kind of interesting that it took some time for the screen to load. The game had to contemplate how far you've gone. Sheet of paper. So, the time I did that was maybe two years ago now. It's been quite some time since I've done that. I've looked at that forum thread on Steam to see if other people have, because I know I'm not the only one who started out letting the character walk endlessly. Um, I wonder if anyone else has figured out that you can let the shade walk endlessly, you know, using the touchscreen. And if they've returned to it, I don't know. So this is something I mean to do at some point while streaming the game. Aha, I hope the king doesn't mind if I borrow one of his books. It would be such a tiny book for the king. Someone would have to read it to him. There are a couple other pieces of decor that I'm hoping to find here. So yeah, this is something I want to do perhaps as a highlight for one of the later streams. Perhaps as the very last thing we do for the game is to load up that save and see if Eternity does have an end or if the game itself crashes. If it's not over, hmm, maybe this is something we'll ret return to uh, another year from now. This book will keep me company at home. Welcome, friend. The number of books in this game, as far as we know, they're limited. The number of pages you can collect is perhaps unlimited. So after you've walked far enough to the right, collected enough decor, collected all of the books, you would just keep walking and just only find paper. As far as we know. the other profiles, the save games that I have. We will be revisiting those as well. I do have... Eternity is rather overrated. <laughs> I do have some video files and stuff that I've saved of the different endings because I'm sure somewhere along the way we're going to be curious about what would happen if we did this. What if we pursue, pursued this thing? And instead of ending the game right then and there, I've already done them, so we can show them off. So we'll be visiting those other profiles. Um, when the game ends, the profile remains in that state. But there is a way to reset that profile to be able to start again, start brand new. But in some way, I'm sort of attached to each of those endings, having those profiles remain in those locations, like Ever, who's continuously still walking in these halls. Um, and there's another profile I have, which I'll share more details of later. So 
so that kind of brings up the question, how will we end our time in the long run? If I have save files and videos of all of the other endings, how will we end this one? Do you belong here, book? I do like that we're finding books. Also, if you leave and you return, you might think, you know, we've been walking here for maybe 10 minutes. You might think that we would just be walking a long way before you found anything. And the game doesn't do that. If you were to leave and then return, you'll start getting pieces of paper pretty quickly after a minute or so of walking. And then regularly at the interval, you'll start to find more paper. And if there were more books to be found or more decor, you'll find those as well. So let's go find one or two more things and we're going to walk back. We'll pick up that rug along the way. I have one time, one of my games, I did walk through here about an hour or so. I was in class and I had just left the game to walk by itself. And then I walked back for another hour or so. And that's what inspired that idea of creating a profile who I'm just going to let go. All they would do is, from the start of the game, they would do nothing. Come here and walk. That's all. And they did. They're still on, I think, the first day of the game. The only thing we had to do was open that one door at the top of the stairs where the king is. Yeah, and through that door is the one part of polished stone that when you walk on it, sounds just like this. And I like that little area. I think that's a paper. Yeah. But on that two hour walk back, I thought I was diligent. I thought I was picking up every little piece of paper and book and everything that I had come across along the way. This might have been the first time I was playing the game because I wanted to find everything I could. And I also liked drawing. So, or rather, I liked decorating. I wanted to really decorate the home. I wanted to see how many paintings we can draw, how, how fast time would go. And it got pretty fast. I believe each second was close to 10 seconds, or 8 seconds, something along those lines. But on the walk back, I found pieces of paper. I don't know if they had spawned in, or if they were just hidden behind a pillar, perhaps. And the only way to have seen them would just be the dialogue box to pick them up. But I like this place. It's kind of a relief to everything else. The dark caves, the feeling of depression, the soundscape in that entire place. And here it's meant to be some sort of bliss, some sort of like dream. You know, you have this fog, you have these pillars, which interesting a lot when you look at them, like visually look at them, the way they line up. Sometimes you want them to line up just perfectly and you start to notice the pattern doesn't really repeat, not easily in any case. It comes close and then after walking the distance you'll see, oh, it's a little bit closer. It's really captivating when you just leave it on in the background.
but returning from here and leaving this part of the caves, we'll have explored the left side from the center. Which means the only places left to explore are time gated. But with a little bit of decor we have and the pictures we'll draw when we return, our time will be able to speed up. So perhaps tomorrow. We can go back and check the stalactite, or we can go check on the spider and see if things have progressed there. I think it's neat, with all the items and things we can find in the game. The majority of them, you don't need them to continue the game. Books are nice, and they help you pass your time. The decor is nice, but again, it just helps to pass the time. When it comes to, like, an item that is mandatory in order to continue the game, there really isn't. I believe there's one, maybe two exceptions. time to talk about them when we discover them. So with our ability to speed up time by staying at home. I think it was about a month looking at all the photos that I had when I started the game and when I finished it. It was about one month on a daily basis before I finished my first playthrough. shade to walk to a specific room which is outside of here so the shade is just gonna auto walk
neutral. I'm sure I'll draw out a few lice just to please the shade. And then there are five pictures I really like. The above, the below, the tree. I had done things before. I've done one where there's just crowns everywhere. I've done all the portraits. I've kind of color-coded them before. saved up. We could start a fire. We might do that tomorrow. I think tomorrow, if there are any paintings we haven't drawn yet, we'll start on making those. But for the most part, I want to begin reading. Curious to see when we return. If we found any of those books, the second or third volume. So an interesting thing the game does is the books are not titled when you pick them up. It doesn't matter where you pick up a book, they're retrieved in a very specific order, and that order doesn't change. So if there are certain books that you want to find, they may be naturally near the end of collecting all the books. So in order to find that book, it's not a specific location you have to do. You have to just find that number of books. It feels like I'm walking slower. We get lost. Where's our carpet? I think we hadn't walked this long. Ah, there it is. But yeah, walking in, just finding that next little lead, you know, it's like that meme. Ooh, piece of candy, piece of candy. And you just follow it. And it's easy to continue, keep going to the right, just to get that next little piece, that next item. I do like that change in sound. The carpet. It will warm my feet at home. And another bug. Eternity is now covered in carpet. It's a temporary bug. If we start to walk the other way and then take another step, it'll be fixed.
Here it is. I think that's the trick for making the shade continually walk. We decide we need more paper. We'll take another trip back. There are two pieces of decor that are available that can only be found here that we didn't find on this trip. decided to turn around. I thought it was around 10 minutes. But walking back, it's been much longer than I expected. But there's our exit. He does feel like he's walking slowly. I wonder if it's like the analog on the switch. days, why not? It wasn't a bad adventure. Several new books, a lot of more paper, and a rock. We also pushed a rock that started water flowing somewhere somewhere.
important. The first thing we'll do is draw a few pictures of lice just to satisfy the shade. If we don't want to see them, we can tuck them behind the bookshelf. That way we'll still get the bonus to time for having deco decoration in our home. And we don't have to look at them. Oh, and we found the last piece of our instrument. This is cause for celebration. Instead of just imagining music, real music. I'm trying to pick these up, <laughs> but he keeps getting distracted by another. Here's the fancy floor. He sounds like he has really clean feet for being a shade. That's another interesting thing about the Hall of Eternity is coal doesn't fall there. I'm sure it would it would ruin the decor of the place in some way. But in another way it feels like we're beyond these caves. We're somewhere else. I forgot how to change the notes. <laughs> Another symphony for the ages. Uh, is it really? <laughs> but if you look at the time now, three seconds, three seconds, three seconds. Yeah, these small little things that we found it made a pretty big impact. can join your friend here. And water. The constant noise of running water is driving me insane.
And with that, I think the game is stuck. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's fine. We'll restart the game here. And we'll continue tomorrow. I'm not worried of the game being frozen. But you can see our new carpet. And we'll start with decorating tomorrow. And uh, having a read. You can see our bookshelf has expanded quite a bit. 